Remember that time it was claimed that Barcelona didn't have enough money to re-sign Neymar? Well, according to recent reports, they had plenty of money seeing he got a whopping new contract, which is going to keep him here for another five years. So he will be uh, a Barcelona player until 2021. He penned a five-year contract extension. Uh, and the details of his contract, bear with me as I get to it. Uh, I'm sure Jason will throw up some pictures so it doesn't make me look awkward standing here reading the paper. But anyway, while they have the money to give him a new contract, according to reports, he's not making as much money as Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. According to Marsden citing reports in Spain, Neymar's new salary is 15 million euros less a year than Messi and Ronaldo. So, clearly, he's going to have to up his game. Either way, let's talk about the realistic ideal of Neymar staying there until 2021. So let me give you a brief breakdown of his stats so far and showcase why he should be getting a new contract and why they should be doing everything in their power, as they have obviously done, to keep him there. 99 games, 208 chances created in La Liga. This is La Liga stats. 59 goals and 30 assists. Neymar is a phenomenal talent. He has had a great, if you were going to say, a start to his Barcelona career. Him, Suarez and Messi have all proved that you can have three dominant strikers who would probably run riot on their own, mesh together and create, for me, the most dominant front three to have ever played the game. <gasps> We already did this clip before, I already talked about it, yes they are, right, so I'm going to actually showcase why they are already, I mean, there are some great front threes in the past, people actually said that Barcelona's previous front three of uh, Messi, Henri and Etu, yes, sure, they're good, Etu and Messi and Henri, like Henri himself was more of a, a dominant striker at Arsenal on his own, Etu can fluctuate a little bit more left, a little bit right, but you're talking about combining three of undoubtedly fantastic talents who on any given team would probably be the best players on their own, unless you include Ronaldo in that mix, coming together. Like, like three, like Iron Man, Captain America and Hulk just simply meshing to form the best partnership you can imagine. Chemistry beyond means, and I'm not talking about what happened in the Avengers movie where it seemed it was a little forced, but I'm not going to get into movie reviews. So let's talk about how they've panned out as a front three already, right? So when Suarez arrived in Liverpool, statistics have shown, uh, it was a little bumpy initial four months to try and get used to things. Suarez, obviously his debut season was uh, hindered by his ban and he wasn't able to start. But between them, they scored 122 goals. Messi had 58, Neymar 39, and Suarez had 25. Not bad considering he didn't play until uh, October, his first game, of course, being El Clasico that year. Then in 20, 2015, 2016, obviously last season, Suarez, he took the pole position as uh, obviously their front number nine and Messi and Neymar again proving that they can work off any sort of role that someone like Suarez wants to take. If Neymar wants to be the top man, they can work around that. If Suarez wants to be the top man, they can work around it. And if Messi, as always, wants to just take things into his own hands, they'll allow for space. They'll make decoy runs. They'll give him the opportunity to do that. So in 2015, 2016, uh, he was likely a top goal scorer with 40 goals and scoring 59 in 53 games. Neymar had 31 goals. Uh, and Messi managed 41 and 49. So, of course, he had that injury as well where Neymar and Suarez proved they could play as a front two. No problem. Easy peasy. Uh, and they won a domestic double uh, and European and Spanish Super Cups. And so far this season, they have banged in 27 goals between them already. And they're still being criticised as not hitting their, their form at the moment. Messi's a little off, it didn't play as well, he just banged a hat-trick against Man City. Uh, Neymar managed to come in with a goal at the end. Oh, is there a little conflict in there? Were they sharing the ball enough? Stop. Just stop. There is phenomenal front threes in the past. Um, but for, in my time, I haven't seen three dominant players like this be able to con continue to showcase that they have uh, an understanding that's almost telepathic, that they can move the ball amongst each other, no problem, that they're always dangerous and they're always a threat. Barcelona have some problems to kind of iron out in the league. They've, drew and, they've drawn and dropped points several times. Uh, but when they play the way they do, as we've seen in Champions League, yes, Man City were down to 10 men, blah, blah, blah. And they did against Celtic as it was showcased. Like, they just have the most devastating attacking threat. No one even comes close to it in the world. Football is a, a collective game, hence why other teams are able to strengthen their defence and cause a problem to Barcelona. They're able to hit them on the counter-attack and do other things to try and adjust to beat Barcelona. But the bottom line is, Barcelona will never have to adjust to beat another team. If they're on their day, they'll beat anyone in the world. Other teams have to adjust to beat Barcelona. Yeah, on their day, Real Madrid playing free-flowing, attacking football 
could beat and have beaten Barcelona. But other teams, you notice that they'll adjust in order to try and beat Barcelona because they're that good. Whereas I feel like it's that stubbornness that was installed from the early days of Guardiola uh, and carried on to Luis Enrique. They're like, why adjust? We want to play the way we want to play. Uh, if it doesn't always pan out, we'll eat that. We'll understand that it's not always going to work out. But we have three of the best attacking players in the world and we're going to utilize them. We're not going to change it. Uh, and if we believe that when we're on our day, we'll be the best. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you agree or disagree with my thoughts on Neymar, Messi and Suarez being the best front three? Do you agree that Neymar signing a new contract is a hell of a positive for Barcelona? All the good stuff. Francis underscore Maxwell on Twitter, as I've said. Francis, un Francis Maxwell host, sorry, on Instagram. Plenty of bow tie pics over there. Go and give me a follow. That's the least you can do. Catch you guys soon.